Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel again. I've had some really strange things going on in my life right now. But I want to say first of all is that I'm not going to lie on my channel and say things are happening when they're not and I, I wouldn't lie to get more subscribers or anything. My, my topic here, the last video in this video is more or less that I, I would just like to know what's going on. There, there's some strange things going on in my bedroom when I go to sleep and I don't even know what it is. It's so weird. I think my last video with you had said some things, but then after that, more weird things has been happening. Like one day I woke up at 11 p.m. I go to bed at 10 and I woke up to this real low humming and a a bump on my bed like every two seconds and it was very gentle and so was the humming it was it was soft but you could hear it and I woke up and looked around there was nothing around and when I laid back down it had stopped but I laid there for a minute or two before I looked thinking what is that and I didn't move for a while and I just laid there you know listening and feeling and and then finally I you know looked around and then at four Again, right before this person's alarm clock goes off, I wake up and I have a fear of spiders. And when I run a high fever, I hallucinate spiders. So I wake up and look straight up because I'm on my back. And there was this big black, what I thought was a spider, a tennis ball size. And well, the sun's getting bright. And what it was is like a ball, what it looked like was a ball of black wire and it was like this and it was like kind of like doing that and what it looked like was spider legs reaching down for me and it was going from my foot up to my head because when I woke up it was like ch chest level with me going up toward my face and I remember looking thinking oh my god you know and then I watched it and at the head of my bed is a window and I watched it go out the window and I'm like what in the world and I'm sitting there looking like is it on the window what is it well the room was really really bright and when it was all over it all got dark again because it was four in the morning and I'm like what in the world and then I heard the alarm go off and I'm like okay and I go back to sleep I like after I was realizing it wasn't a spider then I was all calm and fine I think it was the next day there's been like two days nothing happened but I woke up again one night and it was like a five foot high figure at the foot of my bed but it wasn't like a figure what it looked like was somebody the uh, Avengers movie I think it was Avengers where Thanos was vaporizing everybody and they went to dust it was something like that but it was all black and it was thicker kind of toward where the figure would have been, but it was like black dust all around. And I'm sitting there looking at it like, what in the world? And then I've seen orbs again about basketball, not basketball size, beach ball size. And they're all the same size, different colors. And they look kind of like plasma on the inside, like electricity kind of. You can't see through it. And they range from colors of reddish orange, to a blackish gray. The last, last one I seen was a real light silver, whitish silver kind of. And I remember staring at it and I, I couldn't see through it. Most of them just, they shrink and go down the hall or this last one went through my wall. And I'm like, wow, okay, you know, that's different. It lasted a little bit longer than the others, but it's like every time an orb sees me looking at it, it goes away and then the last weird really weird one was I woke up and you know the doorbell boxes you have in your hallway or wherever they put them to the doorbell well I woke up and looked toward it and it looked like the mercury the color of mercury and it looked like mercury dripping off the top of it down to the sides and then when I was like what is that then it kind of starts going down the hall. And I'm like, what in the world is that? The last night, I woke up, I was on my side, and I hug a body pillow because I have a bad back. So I was kind of like in a, sorry, I'm moving the phone. 
I was kind of in a ball and I apparently had my arm up this way because of my shoulder surgery. I have to have it close to me because it hurts. But I woke up and my whole body was like vibrating and it would twitch like this. And you can hear the hum. It was like a humming on top of that. And then my daughter comes out of her bedroom through my bedroom to the bathroom because we share a bathroom and woke me up and it kind of went away. But I remember sitting there looking at my hand and it was just doing this. It was weird. And then uh, I was telling myself all night, I'm not gonna wake up because every night since this started, I wake up between two and five times throughout the whole entire night. Another thing is most of these things happen around 4 a.m. I don't know what's going on. But last night, I'm not sure what time it was when, the, when I felt my body twitching and vibrating. So I'm trying to figure out what this is. Still, if anybody knows what this is, comment below and let me know. I don't know what's going on and I really would love to know what is going on. Now I've been told there, there is a ER doctor named Stephen with a V, not a PH, Greer. He used to work in his younger years at Area 51. YouTube his name. He will tell you about UFOs, all about them, because he's, he was there, and that aliens exist, etc., etc. And he mentioned in one of his videos that these tiny aliens, because they, they're tiny, will leave their big ship in an oar about the size I'm seeing and come into people's houses and, like, investigate or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if that's what it is. Now... I've heard of spirit orbs, I don't know, but they're like the little tiny ones that go around. These don't do that, they just sit there in one spot until I see them. I don't know if it happens to anybody else. I've seen on Reddit where their balls stay, no, they bounce, no, wait. I, I think they said they move around. Very few of them move around. And theirs range in color. And the way they describe them is just like mine. So, I don't know, but I don't get a sense of fear when I see them. I'm not scared. I feel calm. And I tell myself, if I see another orb, I'm going to try to reach out and touch it. I don't know what would happen. I'd probably get vaporized. But, I don't know. I want to do that. And I want to see if it can communicate. I mean, it's intelligent enough to get in this orb come into your house, go through your walls and everything else. It's got to be able to communicate whatever it is. I don't know. Also, for those who didn't know, I just recently found out today is the 22nd. I had seen that two days ago, a UFO was shot down in Brazil. So look on that or look for that on YouTube and see what that was about. That was interesting. And I want to say something. I, I've noticed that in these videos about Brazil, these UFOs were, there are many of them, and they were like a Ferris wheel in the sky. They were up there spinning in a circle. And then, you know, the lights are coming off and on and they're moving around. But somebody, because they were doing that for like two days, I think. Somebody called the, the military, U.S. military, and they went out there and supposedly shot one down. And you can see in the video where ev evidently missiles come from the ground shot up to the sky. My thought on that is these UFOs aren't doing anybody any harm that I know of. I, I hear that people are abducted and stuff and experimented on. They don't remember it until they're hypnotized. So they are meant to not remember it Maybe because it's painful. I don't know. I, I can't speak for them because I don't know. But the way I see it, that they're not doing anybody any harm. But yet, the government, the military, or whatever, is always trying to kill them. And I just don't understand that. And I don't know. I don't know. It's, to me, I don't know. Since I was a little girl, I remember sitting here thinking, not here, but there, that... Everybody here on earth has a job. There's some of us who want to be teachers, some construction workers, some medical workers, and we all 
make life work. We make life go round. It's like a game and we're all the chess pieces or however you want to look at it, Monopoly or whatever, that each of us has a part in making this world work. And I always thought that there was somebody up above, whether it be God, an alien, or whatever, has always looked down at us to make sure that we were doing a good job at running things. And I, I feel like maybe these aliens are a part of that, make sure we're running things correctly. I don't know. I'm not an atheist. I believe there is a higher power. And I'm not saying there is not a God. I'm not saying that at all. I just don't know. There's a lot of things that's happened in my life that's made me think, you know, is there, you know, I just don't know kind of thing. But it makes you want to stop and think about it. So on my part, I'm confused. I, don't, I just don't know what I believe. I, I believe what I see if that makes sense, I don't know. Like these happenings in my room, you know, I, I see it. I feel like I'm kind of losing my mind a little, but I know I'm not losing my mind because I'm perfectly sane. I don't know. I'm just really confused. So, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. The world is crazy enough as it is. When they throw extra stuff in there, it makes you really confused. I. I feel like. Whatever is happening to me is for a reason. I don't know what it is. I just don't know. I, I do know this also, that since the government has acknowledged that there is UFOs and there are aliens, that I've noticed there's been more reports of UFOs and other things. So, I don't know. I don't know. I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy, and I hope you don't think I'm losing my mind. I'm truly not. I, I hope that somebody in my comments tells me if they have seen the same thing, or if they heard, or what it is, or they know what it is. I don't know. And Stephen Greer, if you're watching my video, let me know what you think it is. I would love to get a hold of him because I have a lot of questions. Also, um, I've downloaded the app that was made by Stephen Greer about uh, CE5, I think it's what it is. And it's for people who have made contact with the aliens, I think is how it was. But, um, and it's got sounds and things like that on it too. So, some of y'all might want to check that out. Also, I want to start meditating because I feel like that opens everything up from what he has said. And I had done metaphysics and everything in my early childhood because I've been so intuitive and clairvoyant that I needed to control everything that I was feeling. So I went to metaphysics. I did a little bit of uh, research on Wiccan. I've done so many things to see what's going on in my life because I sense so many things and I don't know how to work it. If that makes sense. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> this is going to be a short video. I just kind of wanted to uh, do a quick one. I know there's a couple of other things that has happened and I can't think of them right now. But those are the biggest ones that I remember that I wanted to tell you guys. I know my videos have been sporadic once a month or whatever. I do them on my phone and I edit them on my phone and those are not the problem. It's that... It uses up a lot of my data and I don't have good Wi-Fi where I'm at so when I use up my data it goes very slow it takes almost three days for me to upload a video so that's a pain in the butt this is gonna be two and two weeks maybe because like I said it, it took three days to upload the other one I'm going to try to do this more often hopefully I think I've learned how to manipulate the Wi-Fi in my data. I think I bounce back and forth. There, there's been times where I try to upload a video and it gets to like 98% uploaded and then it'll clear out and I have to start all over. And that, that uses all my data practically and then I have to start over and it's horrible. So anyway, with that being said, I am glad that you guys are here and watching my videos and listening to my 
listening to my very weird stories and bear with me. <laughs> I still will be updating you on the occurrences as they happen. Maybe they'll stop. I don't know. Oh, this is another thing I wanted to tell you guys. I'm Southern, so I say you guys a lot. I apologize. I have a, a tripod that you can stick your cell phone on. And I'm going to see how long I can record on my phone. And hopefully, I can get something on my phone. With it being dark in my room, I don't know. But I'm going to try. And if I catch anything on my phone, if I can record that long, of course, of course I will post it. So yeah, that's kind of exciting. Hopefully. I hope. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys are doing well and being safe and wearing your masks and sanitizing and all that jazz. So like and subscribe and leave me some comments. I love you guys. Goodbye and have a great day.